I'm just driving out to Cuddy Cuddy now, um, where I'm going to meet my friend Hamish. Um, Hamish is a really cool guy, serious runner, surfer, um, and we're going to go have a have a run up Coman's track and enjoy what the morning brings. Um, Paratahi um, means like the, I think it's like the, the lonely child or the solo child. Um, yeah. And, and it's basically like you can see the front of Watchman's Tower here is jutting out. Yeah. It's supposed to be like the mum. And the mum had like these two children and said, you know, you need to stay by, you need to stay by close all the time. But one of them decided to kind of wander off. And uh, so one of them stayed close. And I can't remember this one's name, but we call it a split pin. Yeah. But um, that's that little rock down there, which used to be like more um, pronounced back in the day. But since the sand's moved in, it's kind of lost it a bit. But Paratahi decided to wander off and then got stuck out there. And forever now is the um, child by itself. I was telling my daughters that story. <laughs> my um, my five-year-old got real upset and was like, is that what will happen to us when we turn to rock if we wandered too far away? And I was like, oh, probably not, but it's a good lesson to learn, girls. <laughs> Every time you go. Um, there's, there's this really great idea about um, the, the life force that some things or the mouldy that some things and um, you connecting to that and therefore you kind of increase your mouldy when you go out and do things so like that cold that you were talking about yeah. and getting out into nature so you get out into nature and if that nature is in good health and you know it's in a good place and it's carrying that mouldy and then you go out and you're connected to it and so you're you're balancing out some of that Te Whare type of fast stuff, but at the same time, you're also kind of recharging your Māori, so you come back and your life force or your life being is, is better because of it. I've let Hamish go off and do his thing, because he's got a longer run to plan today than me. I'm just going a couple of hours and he's got a bit more of a mission planned in preparation for Tarawera and right for, for the Tarawera 100.
wash your shoes. <laughs>